What's up, man? Um, I just wanted to do a quick uh, response video to your uh, predictions for uh, the wild card weekend. Um, I I'm really excited for it personally. Um, I think I think there are some good games there. Um, I'm excited to see who actually wins, who doesn't. Um, but I mean, I'll, I'll just start with my predictions. Um, for the Saints versus the Seahawks, I mean, I, <clears throat> I see what you're saying. You know, the Seahawks aren't, uh, they're, they're just not good this year, uh, this season. Um, I mean, I think, I think besides that, besides this season, they are a good team. It's just, I, I think they're out of, kind of haven't found the niche for this season, I want to say. Um, because uh, I mean, other seasons they've been good. I don't think they're Super Bowl good. Um, uh, but I mean, I I wouldn't count them as a bad team. Um, <clears throat> but they're going against the Saints. First off, I I definitely think the Saints are gonna win this mat this uh game. Um, but again, even with the Saints, I don't think this uh. Is, has been their best season. I mean, they've been good, but I think after winning the Super Bowl, I, I expect them to do better than they have. Um, <clears throat> you know, after that great season they had last year, and then the Super Bowl with the Colts, um, it, it was just a great season for them. And I, I think maybe they kind of are still coming off of that hype um, and people it just has kind of been uh, disappointing for me to watch them this year I mean just because I expected more after winning the Super Bowl but whatever um, <clears throat> the next game was the Colts versus the Jets this is the, the game that I'm looking forward to the most um, because one I am a big Colts fan uh, they're my favorite team um, and I think the Colts versus the, the Jets. Some for some reason that to me that's that's a good, really good game right there. Um, I I don't think the Jets are gonna win. I think it'll be a good game, uh, but I just I just don't think the Jets have what it takes, even with uh, all the injuries that the Colts have. Um, you know. Austin Collie's out, uh, Dallas Clark's out, um, you know, right there are two <clears throat> um, of Manning's main uh, main guys, you know, uh, his main targets. Um, and I, I think that's, like you said, Peyton is finally getting back to the old Peyton. I think earlier in the season when he was making a lot of like some interceptions and stuff and just not like him I to me I'm not I'm not sure because I don't know him personally but I think um, it may have been just because you know a lot of his main guys were out you know what I mean Joseph Adai had an injury uh, Austin Colley kept getting concussions uh, Dallas Clark was out for the season um, and you know he had it wasn't the normal roster out on the field. Um, you know what I mean? They had like new guys like Blair White uh, was out there. Um, still had uh, um, a couple normal guys that he's played with in the past. Um, but I mean, I just think with that change kind of maybe jumbled things up a bit. I, I don't know how else to word it. Um, but I mean... I still think they could definitely win uh, this game and go into the playoffs. Um, I'm not sure how well they'll do in the playoffs with all the injuries and stuff, but I mean, I I think I still think they'll do good. Um, but anyway, uh, and, and like I know you said, I uh, that you like Rex Ryan. Uh, I I do too. I. I think people need to kind of get off his back. Um, you know, I, I like that he's outgoing. I like that he, 
you know, he says what he what's on his mind. He jokes around, you know what I mean? He has fun in press conferences. I mean, it's so much better than like other coaches like say Bill Belichick. And not just because I hate the Patriots. Sorry, any Patriots fans. I just don't like them. But it's not even just because of that. He just, he seems like just a just boring, just uh, like so too serious almost. You know what I mean? I like guys like Rex Ryan, you know, who can have fun with your players, who can have fun on the sidelines, you know, who have fun in the locker room who have fun in press conferences, you know what I mean? It's your job. Have fun with it, you know? Yeah, there's times to be serious, you know, because it it's the NFL. It's professional. It is serious. You know, the ultimate prize is going to the Super Bowl. Everybody wants that. But when you get too serious, it, it just takes that the fun away from it, you know, because at, at the end, it is a game. Um, anyway... The next one is um, the Ravens versus the Chiefs. This is another one I'm interested to see because I have been very excited about the Chiefs this year. Um, you know, I think for the, a long, long time, uh, the Chiefs has been regarded by me and by other people as one of the not good teams in the NFL you know you never see like big highlights from the Chiefs or as well as like the Browns uh, you don't see big things from them you know what I mean uh, I'm trying to think the Dolphins uh, this there's some teams like that that just sometimes I wonder how they're in the NFL um not not to offend anybody but I mean it's it's like almost like if there's so many years that you're not in the playoffs and you're not in the Super Bowl I mean I know there's a lot of some teams that haven't been in the Super Bowl but some are better than others um but I mean I think a lot of times they get lost in the shuffle um but anyway I like I said I've been excited that you know they've had a a pretty good season this year uh, and I but at the same time I don't think they are good enough to beat the Ravens um, I and again I don't think I don't even think the Ravens are that great of a team I mean I know they have a, a good defense pretty good offense I mean I think they're more of a defense team um, at least that's my opinion, um, you know, with, like, Ray Lewis and everybody on their defense. Um, I think that's what people think of more when you think of the Ravens is more their offense. Um, but I still think that they're just going to they're gonna beat the Chiefs. Um, I don't think it's going to be a blowout, but I, I mean, I, I think it would be, it would have to be, a really really good game for the Chiefs to win. Um, I I'd love to see them win. I would love to see them go ahead on into the playoffs. I'd even love to see them in the Super Bowl. That would be amazing. I would vote. I would root for them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would be behind them all the way if they ever made it to the Super Bowl. Um, but I just I don't think they have what it takes. Um, and then, finally, we have the, uh, sorry, just checking my time, Packers versus the Eagles. This is a good game. Um, first off, I'm just going to say I think the Packers are going to win. Um, Eagles are good, but something about the, the Packers to me, it, they seem more, they seem better than the Eagles. Um, their defense, uh, they have a great defense. Uh, their offense is good. Um, they, they've they just, the games that I've watched of them, they've impressed me. Um, I used to not like the Packers at all back in the 90s uh, and even early 2000s. 
I was never really a Packers fan, but um, except for Brett Favre, I, I always liked him for a little bit. I mean, like I said in my previous video that I have up, he's not my favorite, but he's good um, and always has been. But this, the Packers team that they have now, uh, there's something special about it that I that I've seen. You know, I think they're just a good team in general, and I I just don't think the Eagles have quite what it takes to uh, get the job done with them. Even though they have Vic now, um, who is a he's a good quarterback. You know, he you know he can throw well. He can run, uh, you know, he can scramble out of the pocket, everything. But I just don't think they're going to win. I mean, I could be proven wrong. Uh, that's the game, one of the games that I'll really have to watch to see what goes on. Uh, I think it is kind of evenly matched there, but I think the Packers have that little bit of an edge. Uh, but anyway, that is my prediction for... Uh, the wild card weekend. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, all right, bye.